Hi again! I've finally got my computer troubles pretty much sorted out. It looks like we're set to actually do things on schedule again, which it's been a while and I apologize for that. Um, very recently, and by recently I mean over the course of August, I did a um, prompt spread um, of griffins. So you may have seen them on my Instagram uh, and you saw them at the very beginning of the video. Uh, the griffins were for a prompt from uh, Toby, where Zesty does things, where every month they do, or he does a, a creature prompt in this month, or the month of August, was griffins. So I chose a few different animal combinations. They're not strictly griffins. I know that they are supposed to have bird claws on the front, etc, etc. I don't care. I was having fun. So I created a few different ones, and I decided to fill up another set of pages because this Masri book's um, pages are really good at holding up to a lot of abuse. I'll do a review video later, I, honestly. Um, but because I could and I wanted to, I decided to take two of my griffin designs and paint them in gouache. I thought it would be a good way to practice gouache, as well as, again, fill up more of the sketchbook. So I took the quail mixed with a uh, squirrel, the squail, <laughs> and I also took the chicken that I mixed with a house cat. So they both were sort of like farm animal ones I thought that would be around. The other two griffins are sort of the same. Um, if you saw them at the beginning, there was a, a donkey one with a goose and a, a, uh, an opossum with a... Uh, what did I put that one with? Oh, with a guinea fowl. So these two were the ones I thought kind of fit the, the farmy country feel the best. And I thought these would be ones that you might see running around a little farm. So I did the quail and the chicken, both of them, I just did them in fun colors as well. Again, this was just sort of to practice gouache and to have some fun. I really didn't feel like putting a lot of thought into it. I just wanted to practice. And honestly, finding something fun to paint is a great way to practice with new supplies and to try new techniques out. So you can see these guys are in green and then like peachy reds and pinks. And uh, I thought that was really fun. And I did them in also very simple poses because why not? So I'm still getting used to gouache and the way it behaves and the way I have to paint pretty much completely different than how I do with watercolors. The fact that everything is sort of like single section paint, I don't even know how to describe it. I can't gradient stuff. I'm sure somebody who's better at gouache than me could, could do that and could teach me how to, but it's just not something that I innately know how to do like I can with watercolors or even um, things like markers or inks, things like that, that just a water-based medium that's not so thick. I find it really easy to, to gradient and like add fun little puddles of color and stuff in between. So the gouache is still sort of a mystery to me and I'm still trying to figure it out. So I thought I'm just gonna do this with, each one's gonna have three colors or three shades and then the line work. So that's what I went with was the base color there, which peach for the, for the chicken and that light tealy minty green for the quail. And then I went in with like a dark color to do all of the, um, you know, some of the details. And then I went in with a third color, uh, which you can see in a few spots in like the shadows and on uh, some of the little details. I'm sorry if you hear thumping and crashing from the rest of my house. I'm not home alone like I normally am when I'm recording audio. So you might hear the dogs and my husband moving around. <laughs> sorry about that. Any case, yeah. So I went with just those three different shades. I tried to keep it really simple and then went in and did the line work on top in color as well which um, most of my line art is often um, black or a very, very dark color in my watercolor illustrations. I haven't really played with colored line art in those as much, but I do tend to play with it in gouache, so I thought it was a, a good time to pull that out as well. And I find it ends up with this really nice, like, cohesive little piece. And again, it's just a pair of sketchbook pages, so, like, if it didn't turn out perfect, I wasn't too worried about it. I just wanted to practice, do the whole thing. So I hope you enjoyed these griffins and um, just watching me kind of work away at them and I hope you find fun ways to fill out your sketchbooks and to practice techniques and do things you like to do because that's what they're there for 
Um, yeah. So, the month is over for my August rewards, but coming up this next month will be a new set of rewards for my Patreon. So, if you'd like to join my Patreon and kind of get a sneak peek at those and um, check them out, you can in the description below. There's also a sticker store, so you can go and support me there. And, yeah. Have a great day. Bye!